Hello, I'm Mr Maths and today we'll be talking about percentages. You get to hear me now. If you get to hear me now. What is a percentage? Well, a percentage is a special way of calculating a fraction of something and it would be a part of a whole. It's a special kind of fraction. Now we get the word percent from the word percentium which literally means per 100. If you think of the word century, a century has a hundred years, the word cent means a hundred. So we get the word percent which means per 100. Now we have, a, let's think about cake because I like to think about cake. A whole cake would be a hundred percent. Now if I was to cut that cake into half Half of a hundred is fifty, so we'd have fifty percent of the cake. If I cut that fifty percent in half again, we'd have a quarter, which would be twenty-five percent. So the whole cake is hundred percent. A slice of cake would be a percentage of that cake. So if you can imagine, we cut the cake up into a hundred pieces, each piece would be one percent. A quarter of the cake would be twenty-five percent. So if we can imagine percentage as a special kind of fraction and that fraction would have a hundred as the denominator. So if we look here, we've got one over a hundred, so that's one percent. And a fraction can also be a decimal. So if we look at this decimal here, this 0 0.01, the one is in the hundredth column. So can we have more than a hundred percent? Well, yes, we can. If we have two holes, so one cake would be 100%. We have another cake, we'd have 200%. So 100 times 2 would be 200. That would be 200%. So here's our cake here. And then here it is with a quarter cut out of it. That's what it looks like as a fraction. And this is what it looks like as a percentage. It'd be 25%. 25 over 100. So, how are percentages important? Well, percentages are used in everyday life. So they're used for calculating how much tax you should pay or how much something is reduced in a sale in the shop. For instance, you'll see something like 10% off or 15% extra. And um, that's how you, you use percentages to calculate how much more you're getting or how much less you're getting. So percentages are used everywhere. You can't escape them. And um, so let's take a practical problem and see how percentages, how we can work out percentages to see how they affect us in everyday life. Say your name's Billy and you're going to buy a computer game and you have £50. So we'll put up here £50. And you desperately want this new computer game, Grand Theft Call of Duty 7. And you go to the shop and you see it in the shop and it is... 60 pound whoops 60 pound but it's been reduced used by 15 percent now you have 50 pounds the game is 60 pound but it's been reduced by 15 percent how are we going to work this out using percentages because how, how do we know what 15% of 60 is you've got to imagine we're cutting this 60 into 100 pieces and then finding out what 15 of those adds up to can Billy afford his game so this is how we do it and we'll we'll go on to discuss this in another in another video about calculating percentages of numbers but we're just going to go for a quick example of it here for the sake of the introduction so Okay, so we have 15 and we divide it by 100. Okay, and then with that answer, we times it by 60. So 15 divided by 100 times it by 60. If 
I just do this? So 15 divided by 100 equals 0.15. Okay, and then when we times that 0 0.15 times 60, we get 9. So 9 would be 15% of 60. So 15% of 60 equals 9. So then we just minus that 9 from our 60, because that's 15% of 60, and what we're going to get is 51 pounds. So Billy can't afford his, his new computer game because he's one pound short. Okay, that's the end of the video on percentages and we'll make a further video on this, breaking down all of this in, in much more detail at a later date. I've been Mr Maths, thank you very much.